Hello everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with the More. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I am sharing another snowman box. Now, if you followed me very long, you know I love snowmen. Um, and so this I idea just came to me and I was like, oh, I'm using those. I always looking for a way to use my dies in a different way other than just for card making. And this, these are our stitched squares that I'm using for this. But you can use regular squares, but the stitching is just so cute on it. So I really wanted to use those. So he has two sides, but um, we're only going to give him his face and everything on his the front side. And I love this ribbon. This is some of our curly ribbon. It comes like this. And you can kind of spread it apart and it just was perfect for his little scarf. So this is what I'm sharing today. So let's get started. All right, so you are going to need a piece of seven by six and a half. This is for the box part. And then when you cut it, you're going to have another piece left over. So this is going to be for our um, squares that we're going to cut out using the big shot. All right, so let's go ahead and score this. This is super simple little box. So on the seven inch side, we're going to score it at one inch. And then we're going to just turn it and we're going to score it at the six and a half inch side at one half, two, three and a half, and five. And that is it. Really, really, this is a really, really simple box. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to cut this bottom rectangle off here. So this is our glue tab, this half inch. It's always our glue tab. And then on the bottom, we are going to cut into these, cut up each one. But I am cutting a little V out of these. And then that's our bottom. So now we're gonna just sharpen these. And this is the Thick Whisper White, by the way. And you really want to use the Thick, especially for this box, because it stands up on its own. And the Thick really, really is nice for boxes. So if you're making many of my boxes, always use the Thick. That's what I always use. All right, so we're going to use some tear and tape. And we're going to run it along here. This box would be really cute for some of those decorative pretzels because it's very long and tall. But you can put anything you like in it. But um, I thought it'd be really cute for like some Christmas pretzels. And I did have some last year, but since Christmas and a lot of the Christmas candy is not out yet, um, I haven't, I didn't get any, but I think it would work perfect for this box. So if you're looking for one of those little pretzel boxes, um, I did one a long time ago, so if you research my videos, you'll see another one in there. But I think this will work really good for that too. So we're going to add a little bit more tear and tape on the bottom here. I'm going to put a couple pieces. And I always press it down. It makes it so much easier to get that backing off. I got a little black on there, but I just finished a video for my newsletter subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed to my newsletter, um, you can do that on my blog at Stamping with Amore. And um, I do exclusive videos for my newsletter subscribers. All right, so now that is our basic box. We are going to cut out our squares, and you need two of each of them. So we are going to grab the big shot, and we're going to do that. 
with that extra piece that we have. Now I'm not sure if this is going to be enough. I may have to grab another piece. Um, but these are the um, squares that we're using. And we're not using the littlest one. We're just using the next three. So I am going to... The big one takes up quite a, um, a lot of room, so I may need to grab another piece. All right, and then the stamp set, I forgot to tell you what we're using, the Merry Christmas from the Snowman Season. And I know this one's very popular, and a lot of people have it. Um, I just know a lot of my customers have gotten it because it's, it's super cute. So that's where the Merry Christmas comes from. And we're going to run these through, and then... I think we're just going to get maybe one more medium one out of this piece and we'll just have to grab the other side for the other pieces. And it, it really works best if you um, use these on both sides. It just makes it more even. Anything I have left over on here I'm definitely going to use for, I may be able to fit two of these, yes, I am. So this act will be extra for a sentiment or something like that. So we'll get these two and then I'll just grab one more smaller piece. So we have it all ready to go. The piece that you're going to need for the sentiment is three and three quarters by three quarters. So that's for the Merry Christmas. So let's go ahead and put this together. I'm using wet glue so that I can layer these evenly. And actually the first time I just put them on, I put the glue on here. So I think I might have put a little bit too much on this one. And just line it up to the very edge there. And then we'll do this middle one. I'm just going to put it all over here. Make sure your stitching is showing. And just um, put it, kind of make sure the edges are even there. It's right in the center. And then we're going to do our other one right here. And then we're just going to flip it over. Got to hold these a little bit um, when you're using wet glue. All right, and then flip it over, and then we're going to do the other side. So I think I'm going to just put it on here and put a good amount so that they stay on. Again, and I'm going to try to make sure I have it even with this one. I'm just eyeballing it. It's easier when you have the first one on. This one, these, this side goes really well because I can see where I'm at. All right, so there is our snowman base. You are going to need some scrap. Um, pumpkin pie and some uh, basic black. We are using the half inch circle and we are going to make four buttons for him. And you can use whatever color you want for the buttons. I like the black. And then we're also using our regular circle punch. And this is just like a regular hole punch. So if you have a regular hole punch you can use that too. And I am going to need six of these. And this is why I love the Stampin' Up! one. <laughs> because they all stay in that little well and they don't get all over the place. So let's see, we have six, right? We need four for the mouth, and then we need two for his eyes. All right, so I'm going to grab my Take Your Pick tool, because this is the easiest way to put these on. 
All right, so I have my Take Your Pick tool. I got a little bit too much coming out of there. But if you don't have this tool, this is the handiest tool. It has a little spatula, that, and then it has some extra accessories that you can get. You can get a die brush with it that attaches. And there's so many uses for this, but it's perfect for something like this. All right, so we are going to put the buttons on. Let's do his face first, actually. So let's put his eyes. And I find it easiest just to put the glue on here. So we're going to do his eyes here. And I am going to use a little white uh, gel pen to accent the eyes and the and the. Uh, buttons. We're going to do his nose and I'm actually just going to cut his nose out like freehand off of this. Just like I did on my other snowman. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it here in the video. It's really cute. And I'm going to actually round this end a little bit. And put his nose on. This nose is a little bit bigger, I think, than the other one, but it's okay. And then we're going to do his mouth. This is where this comes in so handy. These little ones. And you can, you still have time to move them when they're, when you use the wet glue. So like I'm going to move that one down a hair. Alright, and then I did use some of my, um, I think I used light pink Pirouette and I gave him some cheeks. I know on the last one I did people were saying, a couple people said they would put cheeks on him, but I liked him better without. I did originally try to put cheeks on the other one. But I liked it better without. So whatever you like, it's your preference. But this one we're putting cheeks on him. Alright, and we're going to put the buttons, go ahead and put the buttons on. So we're putting two here and then two down here. And again, you can make the buttons whatever color you like. And then I'll grab the um, gel pen. And I'm just using one of these jelly roll pens. Going to make sure it's going here. And I'm just going to put some little accents for his eyes. I'm going to put some on his nose. And then we're going to do his buttons. Just like these are the little buttonholes. And then we're going to stamp our sentiment, and I'm just using some real red for that. And our Merry Christmas. And I am going to banner the end. And I love, if you're in my Facebook group, in my Facebook page at Stamping with Amore, I love if you share what you create. I've had some people sharing, and I just love to see what y'all come up with. It's just fun to see. And then we're going to just add some snail to this. So you can use tear and tape or fast fuse, but we're going to add this to him right here between those buttons. And then we are going to put his scarf on. So we're going to use this. And I wrapped it around a couple times just to make it a little bit thicker looking. And then we're just going to tie a knot in it.
and I like to keep this a little bit long just like it's a little scarf and then just pull it you can pull this apart there's a little tiny um, piece of thread and if you just cut that thread it'll come apart really easy all right I'm going to do this one too And we'll pull that apart. And I may have wanted on this one to put his face up a little bit taller. I would have moved it up just a hair because I forgot about the, uh, wasn't thinking, I forgot about the scarf being there. All right, so there he is, our little snowman. He's so cute, but it will fill, fit a lot of candy. It is. Uh, six and a half inches tall and I think it's one and a half wide you get that out and measure it yeah it's one and a half inch wide so here you have them they're so cute and it's really really fun to do but can you see how I put this face up just a little bit higher than his so his mouth you can see better all right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. And if you haven't subscribed to my newsletter, please subscribe. And I do, like I said, do exclusive videos for my newsletter subscribers. Have a blessed day, everyone, and I'll catch you in the next video. See you later, everyone. Bye.